Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our first video in Qt5 C++ GUI application development. Uh, this is our first video and in the first video, in the first, we are going to introduce Qt5 framework. We will have a simple introduction to Qt5 and also how you can download and install Qt5 in Windows machines. Uh, now, first of all, uh, what is a Qt5 framework? Uh, it is a framework for making graphical user interface applications in C++ language. It is a powerful language. Uh, there are two licenses for Qt. Uh, we have uh, a commercial license uh, that is a paid license. Also, we have a LGPL license that is a free license. You can use the LGPL license. Okay. Now, uh, for creating a GUI application in Qt5, uh, what we need, uh, and in this series, what uh, we will need. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, you need some basic knowledge of C++ language, uh, and you will be familiar with object-oriented uh, programming in C++ language. Uh, and memory management like pointers and some other uh, uh, concepts uh, also uh, you need uh, because Qt5 works with uh, Visual Studio so you need to download uh, one version of Visual Studio because we are uh, going to use the latest version of Qt5 that is Qt5.11 uh, this is the uh, version that we are going to use so uh, you need to download the Visual Studio 2015 because Qt5.11 uh, works with uh, uh, Visual Studio 2015 uh, 2015 uh, and uh, and this is the Visual Studio uh, I'm using version 2015 because uh, I want to use the latest version of Qt Creator but if you're using, uh, uh, for example, you know, the version Qt 5.5 or 5.6, you can use uh, Visual Studio 2013. Uh, and there are two ways that you can download Visual Studio. Uh, you can use offline installer and online installer. Uh, I have installed uh, offline installer. It is around uh, 7 gigabytes, 7 GB. Uh, but if you want you can download online installer I have downloaded the ISO image uh, and let me show you and I have extracted uh, uh, this and I have a XZ let me show you the size of this this is around 7 GB or mm, yeah like 6.9 gigabyte okay uh, now uh, one important issue about downloading the ISO image of Visual Studio uh, as you know, uh, by default, Visual Studio uh, removed uh, C++ build tools from uh, Visual Studio 2015. When you install this, there will not be, let me show you, uh, right now I have installed the Visual Studio build tools. And uh, when you install, there will not be any build tool for this. Uh, you can see I have a Win32 application, MF MFC, and this kind of Visual C++. But when you install, there will not be these uh, these things in your installation. How you can receive the uh, Visual uh, Studio Belt tools? Uh, you can just simply go to the control panels and you can go to the programs and in here programs and features and find your Visual Studio 2015. Uh, let me find this and you can change this. You can click on change and uh, wait for some time. Uh, it will configure. Okay, let me minimize this and I will show you. Okay, uh, now for downloading uh, Qt Creator, also you have two choices. You can download uh, the online installer and you can download the offline installer. But I have downloaded the offline installer. Uh, I will add the link to the video description for uh, Qt5 offline installer and also Visual Studio 2015 update to community uh, uh, offline installer. You can see we have offline installers. 
uh, for Linux, Mac OS and also Windows it's around 2.4 uh, gigabyte and let me show you that this is the download that I have downloaded uh, because it is around 2.4 uh, gigabyte and uh, yeah you can see now continue now you can simply click on modify and yeah uh, now I have installed this but you can check the in programming language you can check these three visual C++ and you can update this uh, now after downloading uh, Visual Studio you need to install that and after that uh, download Qt5 and now I'm going to install Qt5 let me install this and now click on next and uh, I accept escape next and now this is the location next and from here uh, you should uh, select the version of uh, Visual Studio uh, that you are going to work with it uh, I'm going to choose the MVC 2015 64-bit and click on next now this is the license um, you need to accept this I have read and agree next and um, click next and stop now it's going to be installed our uh, Qt 5.11 the latest version of Qt 5 now we are going to wait for this and after some time it will be installed now it's installing the Qt5 requirements. Uh, I have uh, when you are going to <coughs> download this, the recommendation is online installer, but uh, because uh, I have a slow internet speed, so I have downloaded the offline installer for Visual Studio and also a offline installer for Qt5.11. But it's upon your choice that you want to download online installer or offline installer. The offline is good because sometimes you will need to uh, uh, install a new operating system, uh, install new windows uh, and you can and install the installer again. So now it's installing and it will take up to two or three minutes. Now we will wait for this. will be installed if you don't install the C++ build tools then uh, it will not work with uh, Qt5 because uh, Qt5 com uh, compiler works uh, Visual Studio and it needs to Visual Studio now it's installing the creator Qt Creator 4.6 also in Qt5 uh, not um, uh, in Qt5 you can make application GUI applications for cross-platform GUI applications also you can make for Android iOS and uh, different kind of applications you can do this will be this video will be just for installation and in the next video we will make our first uh, console application not GUI but a console hello world application in Qt5 framework now it's going to be downloaded and uh, if I pause the video the recording but it will be just I think 40% as remain and there will not be need for pausing the recording 
Now it's going to be installed. Just keep patience. Keep patient and wait. Yeah, 99% and this will be the last step here. Yeah. Now click on next and you can launch the Qt creator. I'm going to launch this because I want to introduce the Qt uh, some uh, Qt main uh, things in Qt frame framework. Yeah, now it is. Yeah, this is the Qt uh, framework uh, main page. You can see we have a welcome, we have debug, we have uh, this is the project that you're going to create project, you can open project and also you can uh, check for examples and let me bring a simple example if I can run it right now. Let me first uh, this is the file and that you can create new file or project this is the edit this is the build you can do your build also you can run your application from here this is the debug section analyze section we have tool section and uh, the important section that we will work all time is this running also you can uh, see the examples also you can uh, click on tutorials there are uh, different uh, tutorials for this you can watch them and let me bring the example and uh, qt 3d qml qt quick control let me if i bring this if this qml 3d work okay let me configure project and now it's configuring it's the built-in example in uh, QT5 framework. Uh, you can see a bunch of C++ codes. Uh, it is uh, QML. Uh, QML is a QT markup language that you can uh, uh, separate your design from uh, your implementation. Uh, I will show you this in further videos. Uh, let me run this. From here you can run your application. Mm, it will take some and because it is a heavy file and heavy project mm, it will take some time uh, yeah now it is QML is debugging only allow access now it will bring for me I think yeah this is the planet QML it is a big file it needs a fast computer Yeah, you can see. Let me. Yeah, now this is the this is the maiden application in Qt5. This you can bring this and you can do like this. This is a planet uh, application. Uh, okay, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And uh, for the further videos, don't forget subscription of the channel. I'll add more videos on QD5 C++ or uh, QD5 C++.